Have you ever seen turtle tracks? Well, I have. Now that I know what they look like, thanks to the Anna Marie Island Turtle Watch. Hi, I'm Jessica Grace, and I'm about to take you on a very special visit with Susie Fox, a very special woman who dedicates her life to the preservation of sea turtles. Every morning, starting May 1, the volunteers of this island monitor the sea turtle nesting on the island. They investigate every inch of the sand in that one mile. What they're looking for is the crawl of the mother coming in the night before, and they um, mark off the area where she's crawled in. On Anna Maria Island, we have a very unique situation. The turtles don't only nest on the Gulf beaches. There are approximately 20 nestings a year on the bay side of the island. Scientists are very interested in this specific data. Each volunteer is trained on how to collect this important information. Susie says the mother turtles make a remarkable journey to nest on the same beach they were born on. When the mom comes from the water up to the point on the beach where she's going to nest and then back down, that area is called an apex. Visually, the volunteers are trained to make note of where the nest is in that apex area. It's about a, a four by four area. And we locate where the eggs are down in the sand, mark that area off with stakes, four stakes. The stakes have data on each of the stakes. They also have a sign that tells the laws and different numbers that they can call if they have a problem or see any kind of concerns around this nest. And also we're looking at that point for any hatchling tracks that may go to the sea. It's incubation, so they need the warmth of the sun, they need the warmth of the sand, and they need the protection of this area around them to keep uh, foot traffic away. The sea turtles actually will come all out on their own. They can still do it naturally. That's the really neat thing about Anna Maria Island is nature in itself. It, it takes care of itself and it runs very smoothly here. Visitors can also sign up to go on the morning turtle patrols to look for signs of new nests. On the website, islandturtles.com, we ask them to call in the day ahead of time after they get to the island, tell us how many they have, and we tell them an approximate area to meet, and we give the tour at the nest that has been laid the night before. It's free of charge, it's, um, it's all about education. The different things that they can do on our beach to help, number one, they can fill in the holes. Bring down your sandcastles at the end of the day. Take in your lawn chairs. Um, keep your lights shielded or turned out. Ecologically, we're extremely interesting to all different people.